OpenAI just dropped something that's making AI agents stupid, simple to build. We're talking drag and drop workflows, zero coding headaches, and tools that used to take months now take hours. This thing is already cutting build time by 70% for companies like HubSpot and Klarna. And here's the kicker. It's not just for the tech giants anymore. Anyone can jump in and start building AI agents that actually work. This is the kind of shift that changes everything. Hey there, so if you couldn't already tell, I'm Nick Ponte's AI avatar. While the real Nick is busy helping businesses with Mina Marketing, Hawaii's fastest growing marketing agency, I'm here dropping the latest AI hacks, tools, and money-making strategies. The real Nick reads every single comment on these videos, so make sure you comment below. And listen, if you're serious about landing some AI subscription-based customers, grab my four-part AI fast track training that I am currently offering for free. The link's in the description. All right, now let's get into it. So let me paint you a picture of what building AI agents used to look like. Engineers coding for weeks, product teams trying to explain what they want, legal teams freaking out about compliance. That's the old way. OpenAI agent kit just threw all of that in the trash. Let me break down what makes this thing so powerful. First up is the agent builder. It's a visual canvas where you literally drag and drop to create your AI workflows. Think of it like building with Lego blocks, but for AI agents, you can preview it, test it, version it, and they've got ready-made templates for customer support agents, research agents, all the common use cases. Here's what most people are missing though. They're jumping straight into building without planning their workflow first. Big mistake. The smartest users spend 20 minutes mapping out exactly what their agent needs to do before they touch the builder. What questions will it answer? What tools does it need access to? Map it out first. Then when you hit that drag and drop canvas, you're building with purpose. The second piece is the connector registry. This is your command center for hooking up all your data and tools. Information scattered across Google Drive, Slack, your CRM, and 15 other places, the connector registry brings all of that into one dashboard. Connect data sources, hook up company tools, even plug in third-party apps using model context protocol. Now here's where it gets interesting. ChatKit is the third component, and this is the one that'll make you money faster than anything else. It's an embeddable chat interface you can drop into any website or app. This thing has interactive widgets, forms, cards, buttons, streaming responses. You can brand it however you want. This is production grade stuff. Let me tell you why this matters for you specifically. I used to be working full time as a mechanic, hands covered in grease, long hours, trading time for money, but tools like agent kit, this is exactly the kind of technology that let me transition to making money full time online. Because here's the reality. Businesses are drowning in repetitive tasks, customer service emails, research requests, onboarding, data entry, and now you can walk into any business and offer them an AI agent that handles this stuff automatically. Think about a dental office spending three hours a day answering the same questions. When's my appointment? Do you take my insurance? What are your hours? You build them a chat kit agent in an afternoon, embed it on their website, boom, those three hours are gone. That's not just a one-time payment. That's a monthly subscription because you're maintaining it. You're improving it. This is recurring revenue. And the best part, you don't need to be a programmer. The visual builder handles the complex stuff, but here's what separates the people making money from the people just playing around. The money makers are focusing on specific industries. Pick one niche, learn it inside and out. Build templates specifically for that industry. Then you can replicate the same solution across dozens of clients. The fourth piece of agent kit is the evals tools. This is how you prove your agents are actually working. These are advanced evaluation tools that measure performance. You can create data sets to test your agents, grade them step by step, optimize prompts automatically. This is the stuff that turns a cool demo into something businesses will actually pay for month after month because here's what happens without proper evaluation. You build an agent, it works great in testing, you deploy it for a client, two weeks later it's giving weird answers and the client's mad. With Eval's tools, you're catching problems before they become client complaints. That's how you retain clients and justify price increases. Agent Kit is built on OpenAI's Responses API. Thousands of developers are already using this for agentic tasks. It's proven technology wrapped in an easier package, and they've got SDKs in TypeScript and Python if you want to get programmatic with it. The integration part is where things get really flexible. They've got an app SDK that lets you deploy agents basically anywhere, enterprise dashboards, consumer apps, websites, mobile apps, and the multi-agent workflows are insane. You can have multiple agents working together. One agent handles intake, another does research, a third one writes responses. They all talk to each other and the end user just sees one smooth experience. Early adopters are reporting up to 70% reduction in build time. Companies like HubSpot, Klarna, Canva, and Ramp are seeing massive productivity gains. When your product team, legal team, and engineering team can all work in the same visual interface, everything moves faster. Here's a use case most people aren't thinking about, procurement agents. Every medium to large business has someone manually processing purchase orders. That entire workflow can be an AI agent. Same thing with sales qualification. An agent can screen leads, book meetings, send follow-ups, and update your CRM 
automatically. Companies are doing this right now with Agent Kid. If you're finding this valuable, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Drop a comment below and let me know what kind of AI agent you'd build first. And hey, if you're serious about leveling up, grab my four-part AI fast track training that I'm offering for free. It includes an exclusive link to try out the AI software I use in my business for 30 days free. Links in the description. Now let's talk about what separates Agent Kit from everything else. You've got Zapier, building agent tools, Google's got their thing, Microsoft's pushing their AI agents. So why does Agent Kit matter? Deep native UI integration and minimal code workflows, everything is designed to work together seamlessly. And here's something most people are sleeping on. Agent Kit supports third-party model evaluation. You can benchmark your open AI agents against other AI models. You're not locked into one ecosystem. This is huge for enterprises that need flexibility. Now I want to address the limitations. Some features like Agent Builder and Connector Registry are still in beta. ChatKit and evals are generally available now. Pricing follows standard OpenAI API rates, so it scales with usage. For most small to medium projects, you're looking at very manageable costs. You need to factor that into your pricing when you're selling to clients. Here's where I see the biggest opportunity right now. Most businesses have no idea this exists yet. They're still thinking AI is just good for writing emails. They don't know they can automate entire departments. You've got maybe six to 12 months before this becomes common knowledge and the market gets saturated. Right now, you can walk in as the expert. Let me give you some specific examples of how people are using this wrong. Most people are building general purpose agents that try to answer any question about anything. And then they wonder why it gives bad answers half the time. The best agents are hyper-focused. They do one thing really well. Here's a better approach. Build vertical specific agents, a dental appointment agent that only handles scheduling, insurance questions, and pre-visit information. That's it. When you narrow the scope, accuracy goes through the roof and clients actually trust it because it's reliable in its specific domain. Another mistake I see constantly, people build the agent and then forget about it. Wrong. The most successful agent deployments have ongoing optimization. You're looking at the conversation logs every week. What questions is it struggling with? You're retraining, you're adjusting prompts. That's how you go from a decent agent to an exceptional one. And here's something nobody's talking about, the reinforcement fine tuning feature. Right now it's available for models like O4 Mini and there's a private beta for GPT-5. This lets you fine tune the model specifically for your use case. This is advanced stuff, but if you're working with high value clients, this is how you justify premium pricing. You're training custom models for their specific business. Let's talk real world implementation strategy. Start with businesses that have high volume repetitive interactions, restaurants with reservation systems, real estate offices answering property questions, e-commerce stores handling return requests. These are perfect first clients because the ROI is obvious and immediate. Here's the pricing model that's crushing it right now. Setup fee plus monthly retainer. Setup fee covers the initial build, 1500 to 5000 depending on complexity. Then monthly retainer covers maintenance and optimization. Start at three to 500 per month minimum. Some agency owners are getting clients up to 3000 per month for comprehensive agent solutions. And here's a little secret, stack your clients. Once you build an agent solution for one dental office, you've basically got a template for every dental office. Maybe you customize it 10 or 20% for each client but the core functionality is the same. So your second client takes half the time, your third client takes a quarter of the time, but you're still charging full price because they're getting full value. The community aspect matters too. There are over 22,000 agency owners and communities like Offline Sharks figuring this stuff out together. When you hit a wall, someone else has probably already solved that problem. You're not alone in this. And the people who collaborate and share knowledge are moving faster than the people trying to figure everything out solo. So here's the bottom line. OpenAI Agent Kit is the easiest way to build AI agents right now. It's lowering the barrier to entry, and that means opportunity for anyone willing to learn and execute. You don't need a computer science degree. You don't need years of coding experience. You need to understand business problems and how AI agents can solve them. The window is open right now. Six months from now, everyone's gonna know about this. A year from now, the market's gonna be crowded. But right now, you can be the first person walking into businesses in your area offering agent solutions. You can be the expert they turn to and you can build a real business around this technology. If you wanna go deeper on how to land AI subscription clients and scale this into a real business, grab my free four part AI fast track training. I walk you through the entire process, how to find clients, how to price your services, how to deliver results. Plus you get access to a community of 21,000 plus other agency owners who are doing this exact same thing. The link is in the description and in the comments. And look, if you got value from this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. The real Nick Ponty reads every single comment, so drop a comment below and let me know what you're going to build first. Are you going after dental offices, real estate, restaurants? I wanna hear your plan. Agent Kit is here. The tools are available. The opportunity is massive. Now it's just about who's gonna take action. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.